Today, June 21st, would have been the Sunday churches would be resuming, but the Lagos state government rescinded its earlier decision on gatherings of religious organizations. Churches have had to restrict themselves to virtual meetings. Plus TV Africa's Mary Chinda joins us live from the KICC Prayer Dome in Maryland, Lagos. Mary, thank you very much. Um, what is the situation um, at the moment at the church? With just a, uh, a few uh, members of this team and the choir and of course the pastor preaching and then uh, they're coming into this church alone honestly um there have been a lot of safety measures from um the temperature check the, the, the thermometer um the church actually also has gone a little bit ahead of what the Lagos state government has asked them to be placed to put in place the sunny tunnel okay so that's a tunnel that you know disinfects you you know just before you come into the the, the prayer doom in itself and then of course after afterward just in case you have to use the the ladies, they have hand sanitizers all over, bleated all over the church just so that people can actually uh, uh, keep safe. Now, before the, the I, I observed that before the service, there were um, people who were wearing their PPEs who had actually sanitized the church. So they sanitized be before the service and after the service. And that's one of the, the regulations that the Lagos State government has asked the churches put in place, you know, just before they're able to open the churches. Unfortunately, today being um, June 21st, um, churches are actually not open. They're still holding services online all over the state. Yeah, the, the, the church where you are, KICC, seems prepared to follow all the guidelines, but how sure are we that other churches around that may not have the capacity are prepared to follow the guidelines? Um, well, these guidelines are very uh, restrictive. A lot of churches have said, a lot of uh, um, clergymen have complained that these guidelines have been very restrictive. For instance, this church, um, this prayer doom would, would take 3,000. But with the 40% uh, cut down that the legacy government is saying they should have, they're having about uh, 500. Um, if, you, if you take a look, down, you realize that there is in the in, in the uh, arrangements of sick, they are actually observing social distancing. It is very restrictive. It is a very tough time for religious bodies, um, um, uh, Muslims and Christians um, alike. I would say. Okay, well, were you able to speak with the pastor in charge and to gauge his mood to uh, the current situation? Okay, so I'm actually lucky. I just didn't um, speak with him. I actually have him here live. Um, Pastor Femi Fashiru, I have him here live on set. Oh, okay. I, I get to speak to you directly. Thank you very much um, for joining us. Um, how, how do you feel knowing that um, you could have people with you in your premises, but due to uh, government regulations, um, you're unable to do that? I would say that it's quite disappointing that we're not able to um, gather, um, uh, particularly under the guidelines that have been, that were given, um, because um, it's important that we understand that um, um, coming to church and gathering, it's, uh, it's essential for us as human beings. We are tripartite beings. We are spirit, body, and soul. Um, there is a place for the spirituality. And I think that that is being ignored. Also, the fact that the church is a church, is a charity, and also a community. Until we come together to gather together, again, we can preach on the internet, but we need to gather together to be able to have the influence we ought to have as a community. That is missing and disappointing. Do you have any idea um, in conversations you've had with the government if they're likely to uh, release the uh, restrictions considering the increasing numbers uh, we seem to be having on a daily basis? I think the challenge we're having right now is not even about the restriction because the guidelines as they were given to us, we as a church, we went over and above it. And I think that for every other church, it won't be a problem if a church got it right they can also come and see the template, and the templates can be shared, and then we can all get it right. I think the challenge we are having 
is the fact that the, the gathering of the church has been postponed indefinitely. So it's not, this is not even an issue of the guidelines. The guidelines we're not contesting because we can always be innovative and be creative around that and we will still be able to have church that we know. I think it's important that we understand that church is essential in our society and it's not being treated as such and that is disappointing. Okay, I was actually also trying to find out from you if you've had conversations with the government and uh, based on what we have now, do you see a possibility of them relaxing uh, the, um, I mean, break, taking away the restriction on church gatherings? There, there, is no, there, there is no indication of that as it were. And um, that is um, very bleak when we're going to be uh, permitted to come back because what has happened in the last one week is not a function of any data. Nothing happened in the space where the guidelines were given and the, um, the, 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 the function of the churches, um, church services were withdrawn. Um, so we are actually in the dark as, uh, that is, as far as that is concerned. All right. Um, uh, just before I let you go, a, a quick uh, question on the fact that maybe, rather, should I say concerns, uh, when it comes to smaller churches that might not be able to uh, meet up um, with the guidelines might have factored in in government, the Lagos State government holding back. Do you um, agree with that uh, school of thought? No, I don't, because um, there is never a time where you can have um, all the people, all the time, in every way um, that's going to be compliant or be able to be compliant to a particular regulation. Um, so I think that we need to allow those who are ready to start because we need the church gathering in our society. We are in a place, in a time of pandemic. We are in a time that we need, you know, all our resources to be put out to be able to fight this pandemic. We sure need church gathering. We need to pray together. We need the assembly of the saints and assembly of God's people. We need to tell God that God is our first way of attack against this coronavirus. And we should not let God feel like it is not necessary for us to have a church. That is not good to have and be said of as a society. All right, Pastor, thank you very much uh, for your thoughts and the news. Thank you. Mary Chinda, thank you for also bringing us um, the latest information as it affects uh, the church. Thank you very much. Thank you.